Hey right, guys, just dropped Gavin off. I'm uh, right by my grandparents' house and I just flipped this really nice, big, pretty line snake. Um, I like these snakes a lot and um, yeah, cool. Back in the Denver metro area, but um, good way to end the trip. I'm gonna see if I can turn anything else up, but yeah, there you go. Nice line snake to end the trip. You guys have a nice wandering Carter snake. Always good to see these guys. I wonder. There might be skinks here. That would be really cool to see a skink. Yeah, let me double flip the lion snake and another elegant. Two each. Sweet, this cool looking elegant. Lion snake got musked by, musked by both. Hey right, guys, now I have these two radix I flipped together. I mean, this really pretty angry one. Really cool, double radix now. This spot is really producing. Cool snakes, I love radix. Guys, check this out. We got a northern many lion skink now. Beautiful lizards. Love these dudes. Their uh, tails break off quite easily, so you have to be really careful handling them, but... Ow. They like biting, too. They like Great Plains skinks, but smaller. Sweet. Lovely lizard. Nice. Alright guys, check this out. This is a juvenile mini lion skink, probably freshly hatched. Look at that beautiful blue tail. Awesome lizards, man. These, these dudes are so cool. That is super cool. What a nice find. Hyped about that. Very nice. Hey guys, another lion snake. Another pretty big one. Sweet. Boy, I'm glad I came out. Half the video is just going to be miscellaneous finds from the Denver metro area now, but awesome lion snake. What's up, guys? I'm back from my trip to southeastern Colorado. I leave for college in one week, so I have one week to just really herp it up. I'm up north today looking for milk snakes. One of my favorite spots. Yeah, I'm really excited to be up here. Just be herping around. Uh, I just lost a racer, so let's see what else is out. All right, guys. So up north it was horrible. So I'm at a local favorite. I just flipped my first ever um, barred tiger salamander. I've never flipped one before. I've obviously seen them a few times before, but I've never flipped one. Did not think that was what was going to be under this rock, but there you go. Tiger salamander. That is crazy. yeah. Today was really poor up north and um i'm with steven i see him right now he's walking up here and um yeah no i did not expect to flip a salamander that was not even in uh in my mind of things that i would have expected to see today but very cool to see a tiger salamander during the day this actually might be the first time i've ever seen one during the day so cheers to that really interesting little find not sure what he's doing here. We're pretty far away from the vernal pools that they breed at at this park, but cool. Very interesting. All right, guys, so it's been pretty slow. No snakes, but we just grabbed these two turtles basically sitting right next to each other. This one is an invasive radiated slider. This one is a western painted turtle. Um, Colorado State Reptile. Beautiful orange um, house trunk. This one is also pretty cool looking. I like the paint through a little bit. Cool. We'll just get these guys back in the water and keep them. Hey guys, look at this painted turtle. He's pretty feisty. We were trying to get him to sit for photos, but he wasn't really doing it. But nice slider featuring Steven. Eco Stevo on Instagram, follow, like all his posts. And yeah, nice painted turtle. All right guys, so I'm currently getting my car worked on and there's just a little park right by where I'm getting the maintenance done. And um, found a nice wandering garter snake. I was actually looking for crayfish because I didn't think there'd be any snakes here, but course nice um wandering garter snake i'm going up into the mountains with caden for green snakes later today so um that should be fun but yeah got a snake today this one's really cool he's got his head especially his like upper neck it's very much like a black neck garter he's beautiful he's sitting really well really really like this snake a lot it's pretty cold outside which is why i bet he's sitting but um yeah also, I have my AirPods in right now, so I hope the audio isn't weird, but, um, yeah, awesome garter snake. Just gonna let him go. Hey guys, like I said, out with Caden, looking for green snakes, and after about 15, 10 minutes of searching, got one. This is a new county for me. Really nice, bright Max, green. it wasn't at our spot. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Love these snakes a lot, definitely one of my favorites, so hopefully we get to turn up a few more, but got our target. Yeah, for sure. All right, can I get this while filming is the question. Oh, oh, it's an elegant, so. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All 
I don't even know if I have them. Yay. Oh, no. <laughs> no. no. All right, guys. We uh, fixed that rock, I swear. And um, got to put them back. I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> cool. What's yeah. up, guys? Um, back out again today. The uh, green snake day yesterday was a lot of fun. But we got rained out. It got super rainy super quick, so we weren't really able to do what we wanted to do. But we got one, so... Um, back in my home county today looking for milk snakes in Tantilla I've herped here before it's a ton of fun here I love it here never big numbers but usually just a lot of fun it's gorgeous today 55 and rainy hoping it's not too cold we'll find All out right, guys mission accomplished another Jefferson County Plains blackheaded snake that is my third ever from my home county and they are not very often seen here this one's huge, by the way. You can't really get scale because he's all wrapped around my fingers, but he's massive. Probably the biggest tantilla I've ever seen. I am so stoked. I love it here. It's beautiful. He was under that rock. Today's been a real challenge. It's been beautiful. It's been really fun, but it's been really hard. And that's usually how it goes at this spot. It's really hard to herp here, but when you get a hit, I mean, it's a hit and that tantilla here let me see if i can get him to straighten now so you guys can see how long he is that's a big freaking tantilla definitely gonna take my time with this guy though i'm so stoked um if this is my last find in my area before leaving for college that is a really nice find to cap it off with what an awesome tantilla though beautiful i love these guys a lot so i'm really stoked about that all right guys unsurprisingly it didn't sit super well it actually sat for tantilla pretty decently so i got some good pictures of it um i love finding him here this is one of my favorite locales to herp it's always a brutal brutal experience lots of flipping lots of hiking but when you turn up a tantilla especially one this big i mean it is always sorry i'm changing my grip on it always reason to celebrate but awesome snake just gonna put it right back under its rock and there it goes it was under this one it went under that one but i think it's fine wow that was really awesome boy i'm glad i came out today for that sweet it's insanely beautiful up here yep this prairie rattlesnake there you go <laughs> that's true Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I haven't seen a bull snake up here in quite a while. Very nice. Ooh, which is good. That's what they use that means. It's in shed, too. It looks like at least. It looks like it needs to. It needs to shed. Wow. That is so cool. Good prairie rattlesnake. Right in there. It's a pretty big one. Mm -hmm. Dang, look at that thing. Long tree. I'll be damned. Cool. And he's up here catching his disease. Cool. Beautiful northern leopard frog. One of my favorites out here. Probably my favorite amphibian in this area. They are gorgeous. Yeah, that's not even a green one. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's not even a super nice looking one, but he is still gorgeous. What's up, guys? I am in Utah today. I'm driving out to college in Oregon, and I'm spending the day in the Salt Lake area. I'm out here looking for valley garter snakes today. If you watched my other video where I was in Utah, I found one here, so I decided to come back. Uh, I don't know how much time I have, but depending on time, I might go up in the mountains to look for green snakes later. Yeah, we're just gonna have a fun, fun uh, day out here, leaving for Oregon tomorrow. So I've been here for about half an hour. Lost a uh, valley garter snake. I'm not too pressed though. Saw a couple painted turtles. Boy, there are a lot of bullfrogs here. I don't know um, if they are as bad here as they are in Colorado, but I would have to. Whoa! Maybe there we go. I would have to assume that they are. In which case, it sucks that there's so many here, especially because of the uh, valley garter population here. But right there. I mean, they're everywhere. Look at these two. So. Yeah, I mean, it sucks that there's so many of them here, but it is what it is. All right, guys, I changed spots. I'm up in the mountains now looking for green snakes and boas. Didn't find either of them, but I did find 
Yeah, a nice neonate wandering garter snake. This one looks a lot more like the ones we have at home and he's in shed. I, I also forgot to mention at the other spot, um, I did actually see a valley garter. I had it in my hand and it still got away, so I'm a little annoyed about that, but that elegant's back. So we can get a green or a boa. Okay, still no green snake, still no boa, but nice big wandering garter snake. Uh, gonna change spots one last time. I really wish I went looking for short horn lizards. I should have done that instead of valley garters today, but I did see a valley garter, but yeah, nice wandering garter. Right, guys, I was taking some pictures of a wandering garter. There he is. So yeah, I was just taking some pictures of him. Uh, that's three now, hoping for a rubber boa. All right, so I came back to fix the rock the first one was under, and there was another one. I don't know if they were both under there and I just missed this one or what happened, but yeah, four Elgins on the day now. Cool, this one's a lot more Utah looking. That one looked more Colorado and this one looks pretty Utah. -ed. So I was following the one I just released, which was the second one, and now there's this one. Number three. Wow. A lot of wandering garters here for whatever reason. It's pretty close to a creek, but I didn't think there'd be this many of them here. But yeah, they're everywhere in this little rocky area. I'm gonna get that bone. Ta da! Yeah, I knew that was under there. <laughs> cool though. Lots of garters. Boy, there's a lot of garters here. They're all moving. It's like 6 a.m. It's really cold right now. Enough for them. They're all gone. This one's a neonate. Very young. Neonate. Dang, guys. Two more neonates. And I know for a fact there's another one like this. So I'm losing count, but there's two more little babies. Which one went under his rock. Let's go. Let's see where the other one goes. Maybe there somewhere. Yeah, no, there's a lot of garters. Alright, guys. Um, I think this is a smooth green snake. I don't think it's a racer because, you know, juvie racers have that coloration and um, they aren't usually found up this high. I think this is just a really dull, really small, smooth green snake, which is really cool. That's what I'm going to go with. I don't think it's a racer, so I think it has to be a green snake. Very cool. When I first saw it, I only saw its tail moving out under this rock and I thought it was a... Um, rubber boa, but no, it's a green snake, which was one of my main targets for today, so I mean, I'm not going to complain. Just... Boy, that thing is tiny. Wow. Where is it? There he is. Man, that thing is small. I wonder how old it is. Wow. Dang, that thing is a little microscopic. It's crazy. Alright, after that super weird, tiny, smooth green snake got another wandering garter. Everything is out right now, which is weird because it's kind of cold. Yeah, he was just moving through the grass and I snatched him up somehow. I don't even know how I grabbed him because he's he's not a small one, but he goes down that hole. He's not a big one either, and yeah, I somehow just scooped him up out of the grass. There's a ton of holes. I want to know what's digging all these holes, and there's probably a lot of snakes in them. Because there's, I think at this spot, I'm probably up to like 12 elegance. But yeah, so we're going to try to find a bow. There's a garter snake. There. Yeah. Jump scare. I think this one's a de this one's definitely one I haven't seen yet because it's bigger. Cool, I'll get some pictures of this one then. Wow. There's a focus hole. There we go. That's a big garter. Damn, there are a lot of garter snakes up here today. Wow. Oh, you saw Irving, I didn't get anything super interesting today. I guess the green snake was pretty cool, and I did see a valley garter, but uh, lots of elegance, which is nice. All right, so we were going to flip, oh, almost lost. So we were going to flip these rocks on the side of the road, and it was like a campsite, and it was like fee area. But um, I don't know, we were like, oh, we're only going to be here for five minutes. And um, anyway, so we parked the car, get out of the car, go to flip, and there's this guy in a camper, and he's like, well, not even a camper, he had like his whole like house set up pretty much. <laughs> and he's like, you know there's like, a fee to park here. And we're like, yeah, we're just going to be here for five minutes. He's like, nope, not going to work. And we're like, shit, so then we just went out of the parking lot and pulled over on the side of the road, but there was... Nothing there anyway. But yeah, this shit's crazy up here.